people I am back with another video um, today this video is a an idea that I cannot take credit for um, this is my friend Luke's idea to basically tell you about like weird this weird thing I do <laughs> which is um, I basically uh, compartmentalize certain musical artists with seasons and um, it's not everybody like there are certain artists that transcend all seasons like Michael Jackson and Prince and stuff um, I can listen to them anytime and it's um you know it's like there's just I can't put them in a season is what I'm trying to say it would be very hard for me to put them in a season um but there are certain artists that when a season comes in be it winter or summer I'm not gonna do spring and fall because in Florida we don't have spring and fall we either have cold or hot so like that's what I'm gonna talk about okay if any of that made sense just keep watching okay I put all of the CDs right here now I don't have all of the CDs that I'm going to be talking about because um, some of them were taken from me um, so yeah but there's certain ones that are real important that needs to be in a certain list and I don't have the CD but I'll just tell you okay and I can't show it to you but anyways let's do winter first does any of this make any but any sense to anybody does anyone else do this that's another thing I guess I'm making this video not just because it's a new idea but it's also like does anyone else do this or weird stuff like this okay so like in winter um, I basically in winter is like the only time I can listen to grunge so um, I will listen to Nirvana obviously um, I will listen to Pearl Jam maybe I don't know I'm not a huge Pearl Jam fan but I do have one or two of their records um, Mother Love Bone is definitely winter and Temple of the Dog is definitely winter. Anything by Chris Cornell is winter, okay? Soundgarden included. And I know that there's there's some songs that you're gonna say, oh, well, Soundgarden though has some summer songs. Don't you think? No? <laughs> I, I think there's some songs where he has a shirt off and it, it, it might feel summery, but I think all of his, their music is a, has a winter vibe. So, yeah. Um, I absolutely have to listen to Stevie Nicks in the winter. There is no way that, okay, let me just explain it this way. Winter does not begin until I have listened to Nightbird by Stevie Nicks. If you know that song, you understand what I'm saying. If you've never heard that song, please do yourself a favor and look that up on YouTube. <laughs> You're welcome. Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac well, Fleetwood Mac actually I could listen to in the summer too, but Stevie Nicks is this this lady is an absolute winter must for me. I cannot not listen to her in the winter. So another woman that I can <laughs> that I must listen to in the winter, or it is just something's wrong if you if you're not hearing this, is Tori Amos. Okay. I absolutely love this woman. If I could marry Tori Amos, I would. I would. I'm. I would live to make her happy. If I could. If I, I Tori, if you're watching this, I am available, and I don't care what you look like. I don't. Please. I love this woman so much. I, her music, her songwriting. I, I think she's a genius and uh, I I think she's sexy as hell too. I don't know, there's just something about Tori that's just sexy and appealing to both men and women, I feel. She's just got the, she's the whole package. Um, so yeah, uh, and I have all her CDs, but I couldn't get them all, I couldn't find them all. Because a lot of times my CDs are in different CD holders. That's a lot of, I have a problem with that, so yeah. Okay, um, yeah, Hole, I will only listen to Hole in the winter. I cannot listen to, to Hole at all in the summer. It just, Courtney, in fact, is just a winter person. I just feel like I, 
I just could never listen to Hole in the summer. It's just, I could not. It would not work. Okay, um, garbage. Another winter um, band that I have to listen to in the winter, especially this CD, version 2.0. I think it's their best. I love every song on, I think there's not a, there's probably not a bad song on this. I don't think there is. Oh my God, this album is so amazing. Oh my God, I was just like looking at the titles. This album is brilliant. If you, if you like rock and you have not had heard this album, please just go get it now. Okay, um, and the other person, uh, well, it's really not her in general, but this, uh, the fame monster, I listened to in the winter because um, when I first got this, it was really cold. It was around Christmas time. I remembered specifically because I moved into this new house that I really loved. And I felt like there was a whole new beginning. And I was just like finding out really about Lady Gaga. I was not really, uh, I didn't really know about her in the beginning, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really know about her before uh, Bad Romance. And then when I saw that video and heard her song, I was like, oh my God, this chick is amazing. Like I was just like blown away by her. And so then I had to go back and like get catch up because I, I don't know what was going on. I just did not know about her. Okay. Anyways, um, now for the summer must artist summer. What I listen to in the summer, it's not everything I listen to. It's just, I'm giving you an idea. Okay. Um, massive attack is a summer band. Um, anything that has to do with Oz and, and house music and like Oz is this club that I used to go to in Orlando. Um, I was like big in that club. I, that club was a major part of my life for a while there. And they played house music and club music and, um, and Massive Attack was one of the bands they played. So yeah, um, anything that has to do, like D-Light, do you remember them? Um, who else? I'm trying to think. Uh, I have a playlist. It's a private playlist, but it has all the Oz music. I mean, I could just, I could just go down a list, I guess, and tell you, but, um, yeah, all that kind of club music, house music, club kid music, that is all summer music to me. Okay. Um, the next, uh, artist that is summer is Jennifer Lopez. And it's especially this CD. This is my favorite CD of hers. And it is the um, J, Lo, J to the Low remixes. It's the remix. Um, it's the remixes. Um, this is one of the best remix, remix albums I've ever heard in my life. These songs are better than the originals. And usually you can't say that. Um, especially that Let's Get Loud, that's like my favorite J-Lo song in the world. I swear I could listen to that when I'm suicidal and I would get out of my funk because it is, it's just good. It just pumps you up, okay? Um, okay, the next, uh, oh, the next um, summer uh, is Whitney Houston, um, especially this record that like, I don't think anybody likes this record or only super Whitney Houston fans like myself do. I love this one. This was just Whitney and this was when she was with Bobby and a lot of people slept on this because people didn't like Bobby and I understand all that and everything. But this is a really chill, cool, like summer record. I mean, especially the first song, one of those days, my God, that is a, uh, that is just like come home from work take your clothes off, put, get in a bathtub, light some candles, put this music on, get a glass of wine, whatever you drink, and chill out to some Whitney, baby, yes. Okay, the next uh, artist I have to listen to in the, I don't have a, uh, oh, let me just tell you, I don't have any of these records, but I'm gonna tell you, just, I'm just gonna tell you, is, um, is, um, 80s uh, hair metal. 
80s hair metal like Summertime Girls by Y&T is a big one. Um, L.A. Rocks, anything by Y&T is real summery. Um, Def Leppard, uh, Motley Crue, Girls, 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 that's real summer. Um, Rat, anything by Rat is real summer. I think because like there's girls in bikinis in those videos and in my mind the music just means summer to me and uh, also David Lee Roth and anything by Van Halen is summer I don't have that I'm just telling you uh, anything by David Lee Roth is summer absolutely and I did meet David Lee I didn't meet him actually that, that would be lying Trisha I sort of crossed paths with David Lee one time in spring break in Daytona Beach he was there and he was up out of the, he was, <laughs> how do I explain this? He was on the, um, the, okay, the limo, you know they have like this, the top open, like he was popped up on the, out of that, like I can't talk. And he was just like, you know, making a spectacle of himself or anyways, and I was walking d down the street and um, he whistled and like yelled out and like, um, made some kind of I I won't do it but he was flirty let's just put it that way <laughs> of course I was totally like hey you know whatever I was I, I played it cool because you know that's how I roll but anyways um yeah so David is fun he's summer he's he's just not to be taken too seriously I mean you just have fun he's he's like that um so yeah, hair metal, like I said, all the ones I mentioned, um, I'm trying to think if I forgot any, just all, all of the hair metal bands, like just name them. I mean, and I'm, I would probably say, yeah, that's a summer band. Um, and on the flip side of that, that I didn't mention winter, and I must mention this because just like Stevie Nicks and Tori Amos is a must, I absolutely have to listen to Alice in Chains in the winter. It is an absolute must. I, I don't have one of their CDs because somebody took them, uh, but I had all of them, and especially Dirt. Dirt was a really um, winter CD, but anything, anything at all. I'll usually go to YouTube and just listen to uh any Alice in Chains and also that singles uh soundtrack oh my god that's so winter that is so winter and I think it just has to do with the fact that Seattle is cold and rainy and if it's cold and rainy um that music just fits in with the atmosphere it just it just makes everything it just fits so that's why. I mean, I don't know. Does anybody else do this? Am I crazy? Okay, another rock band that I have to listen to in summer is The Doors. Um, I don't know why this is. I think because The Doors represent California to me. Jim Morrison, though, was from Florida. I like to remind everybody of that. Uh, yeah, and uh, but he it's a, it's a Calif California-based band, and a lot of their stuff is just summary to me it's just like you know walking down the street or going into the desert and taking peyote as you do um yeah so uh yeah the doors is a summer band for me now did i mention sade this one uh i really should say that sade is a full-time year-round person that i can listen to she really is up there with uh prince and um, every she's up there with anybody who I can listen to all the time because I love this woman. Um, if I could find somebody who was into Sade as much as I was into Sade, I just, I just, I her music is so original and her voice is so soothing. She's so talented. It's just, it's it's romantic. It's just like I don't even. Oh, you know if you. Are a Sade fan, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't have to explain this stuff to you. Um, the other summer music is like, oh, this goes with like Massive Attack, and that's like the Ibiza box set thingy I got here. It's Summer 2001 Club Guide to Ibiza. Yeah, it's uh, it's club music, and that is summery to me. Oh, also, disco. I love disco. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I don't care. 
If you don't like disco, that's fine. Just don't make fun of me if I'm like grooving to it because I like it. And you know what? I'm going to defend it because a lot of those artists were really talented. They played their own instruments. Nobody used auto-tune. And I don't understand why disco gets such a bad rap. I honestly to this day will never understand that. My father hated disco. He was a rock guitarist and he hated disco. I, I wish he was alive now because I would have this argument with him because I don't understand people. Why? It is great fun dance music and it's it's good so there <laughs> okay um simply red uh it's a really great band um that i love i love to listen to it in the summer i just uh i love to drive listening to simply red it it it, it lowers the the road rage that i have <laughs> it's very good to drive to for me because I feel like it keeps me calm when people are assholes on the road. And they are. And there's so many of them. So, um, yeah, Simply Red. I love them. Um, Miami Vice soundtrack is a must for summer. <laughs> Miami Vice soundtrack, Scarface soundtrack, Carlito's Way soundtrack. All of this is summer, people. Um... Obviously, Miami Vice and Scarface is because, well, I'm from Miami, so I just love listening to this in the summer and just like, I don't know. It just, it just brings back memories and just, it transports you to a time that maybe you weren't even alive or maybe you were little and you didn't really experience that, but you, it was in your peripheral, sort of, that's how it was for me. Um especially with Scarface because I was little, but it doesn't matter. Scarface, <laughs> I, remember I told my therapist this. When I first saw Scarface, I was little. My mom took me to the theater to see this. It was rated R. And um, I came out of there wanting to be Elvira Hancock. I thought that was the dream thing to be. If I could be Elvira Hancock and just basically uh, marry Al Pacino and never have to do anything except sleep and wake up and go get my hair done and my nails done and just walk around being glamorous and fabulous. I was like, that's life, baby. So, uh, yeah. Um, all Carlito's Way is a really good CD if you like, um, if you like Spanish music and disco. And Mark Anthony is on here and, uh, Santana, LaBelle, the OJs. The, um, what is that? The, is this the one that has the... The, um, Got To Be Real. Yeah, the Cheryl Lynn Disco, Got To Be Real. It, this is, It's the long version on here, so it's really good. It's like the, the long version. It goes on forever. Um, Lauren Hill, Summer. Just, it's just summer. It's along the lines of like LL Cool J and a lot of like old rap is like summer to me because... I don't know why it just is. I cannot even explain that. Remember that song Around the Way Girl? That's such a summer song. <laughs> and like Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory. Remember that? Um, that would definitely be summer. I mean, it, it, it makes you dance, so it gets you sweaty, so I guess summer. I don't know why, guys. I'm just telling you my weird, my weirdness, okay? Um, yeah, Lemonade. Uh, this is one of the newer ones I got by Beyonce. Um, I basically play this when I'm mad. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that could be at any time, really. Uh, but I did get it in the winter. Well, I don't know why it's in the summer um, stack. I got this in the winter, and I played it a lot in the winter. So I don't know why it's in the summer stack. But it probably could be in the summer. Um, but mostly it's just really good if you're, uh, mad. Yeah. Uh, if you're especially mad at a guy or about a guy or anything like that. Yeah. So, and I know, um, uh, maybe some people don't like Beyonce. Please give her a chance. I mean, I was not really into Beyonce before this, uh, this record. And then I was a complete convert because, uh, yeah, she is talented. Jack White's on there. So there's that. Um, okay, I, I don't, I'm sure I've missed some people, but I got the main ones out I wanted to tell you about. I have a lot of musical taste. This is just like the oldies, I guess, that I'm talking about. I'm one of those people that you either like 
search for new music or you like what you like. I'm one of those people that I like what I like. It doesn't mean that I don't like new music and anybody who kind of crosses over like Arctic Monkeys and stuff like that, I, I usually really, really get into and love. But, you know, I do have my old favorites that I'm always going to love and always listen to. And so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I know it's different. I know it's a little off the beaten track. But um, uh, let me know if you do this or if you understand what I'm talking about or if there's any weird thing that you do, like seasonal or that has to do with music or that doesn't. And it's just you think you're the only person out there that doesn't. Let me know in the comments, okay? And I will see you soon. Bye.